Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Shelly and I upload every Thursdays and Sundays so make sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell so you don't miss out, I'm just saying. You might have noticed recently, or not, it doesn't matter, that I have upped my thumbnail game recently. I've really been putting in the effort. So today I'm going to be showing you how I create a variety of my thumbnails. I have a couple of different styles that I'm going to run you guys through. Some that you can completely do on your phone and some that I use my lovely little iPad for. I'll be showing you how I do both, so that's exciting. But first, before anything, I'm gonna need some caffeine, 100%. It's one of those days. So let's go make a coffee. I've got my coffee, I've got my iPad. We're just gonna jump on into the video. Let's do it. So first of all, we'll start off with this kind of thumbnail. It's very simple and she's easy to do. I'm gonna be using my iPad to show you guys how I make it because I am using my phone to film. You're gonna have to forgive me there, I'm really sorry. Now I use two apps for this kind of thumbnail. It's very simple, very easy to use. So we're gonna go over to our first app, which is called PhotoGrid. Now PhotoGrid is going to be the app that is putting all of our pictures together. So we go over to Grid and we're gonna pick three images from our camera roll that represent the video. So this is a what I eat in a day Video. So I'm going to choose this avocado on toast. Absolute perfection, by the way. I'm going to pick this sushi because I did get sushi in the video. And I'm going to pick this photo of me in my active wear looking spunky as always because I just feel like it kind of fits the whole vibe. So I'm going to click next. We're going to get rid of this watermark. See you later. And we're going to go down to ratio first and we're going to click the little YouTube logo because that is the perfect ratio for a YouTube thumbnail. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and press tick. And then we're gonna go to border. I don't like to have a border on my thumbnails, but you can create little borders in here as well, which is fun. And then we're gonna go to layout and I'm gonna pick the layout where they're all side by side. So this one here, and you can move them around to your liking. So see which order looks best in. All right, now that we're happy with that, we can save the image. Get rid of that ad. And this is where we go over to Fonto. So we're gonna go ahead and press photo albums and load in that picture we just got from Photo Grid. So in Fonto, this is where you can create the text and really make your thumbnail pop, which is what we want. So you just simply click on the image to add the text. What I eat in a day. I like to use the font. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even gonna try, but I like to use these fonts and there's so many different fonts that you can choose from. We press done and it's a little bit too big. So we need to size that down a little bit. I really like to make the text pop because obviously that is the main attraction of the thumbnail. So we go over to style and style again. And I like to amp up the shadow just like that. I think that's a little bit too big still. So I'm gonna size it down a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and add another bit of text that says, dairy free because my stomach cannot handle dairy. She is weak. So I am a dairy free and I'm just going to pop that in the corner here. So people know just from the first impressions on my thumbnail that this, what I eat in a day is going to be dairy free. And that's basically it. You save that to your camera roll and bam, you're ready to upload that bad boy. That literally took me like five minutes to make. They're so simple and so easy and you don't need a fancy iPad or Photoshop or anything like that. You just simply need two free apps on your phone and bam, you are a pro at this. On to the second one. This one is a little bit harder. So we're going to, that was my fucking elbow. Now this requires the iPad because we're going to be doing some handwriting and we also need to precisely cut out an image and stick it on the thumbnail, if that makes sense. I'm sure there's an app out there that can do it for you, but I just find this way so much easier. Now this video did really well for me. I don't know if it was the fresh thumbnail or my amazing personality, but we're gonna go with the thumbnail for the sake of this video. I went ahead and took some photos of my room to make it the background of the thumbnail. So I'm gonna go into photo grid once again and select my three photos that I took of my room. And we're gonna get rid of that stupid watermark once again, see you later. And I'm just going to shuffle around the photos until the itch in my brain 
is satisfied basically. That seems pretty good to me. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And the next app that we're using is a paid app, unfortunately, but you can use any art program that you're comfortable with, including Procreate or anything along those lines. But I'm comfortable with this little app called Clip Studio Paint. I've been using it now for a couple of years and it's just what I'm familiar with. I wanna include myself in the thumbnail in a subtle way, not so in your face, but just a touch of me, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a photo that I took probably a couple of months ago now, but I find that the whole outfit that I'm wearing suits the vibe of the thumbnail. So I'm gonna go ahead and select myself and I'm going to size myself down because this image is a little bit bigger than the thumbnail. We're gonna copy, go over to the thumbnail and paste. And now this is where the expensive ass pen comes into play because we're gonna zoom in and we're going to erase the background of this image. I'm sure there's an app out there that can do it, but in this case, I am just doing it with the iPad. I find it a lot easier and I've got more control over it, I suppose. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but my Virgo moon says otherwise. This is obviously a reenactment. I've already created this thumbnail. She's not gonna be as perfect as the first time, let's be real. All right, now that I've roughly removed the background, I am going to create a little edging around myself just to make myself pop a little bit extra. So we go up to this little logo here and we press the circle and it creates a nice outline of myself. I've completely missed some background, so I'm just gonna go ahead and erase the background pieces that I missed. I think I'm a little bit too small, so I'm going to make myself a bit bigger. And I also want to include my birds in this thumbnail because they are included in the video and I want to let people know. So once again, I go and find a image of my bird. In this case, it's this cute little image of Emma and we're going to select her and we do the exact same thing. So we're going to go around and erase the background around Emma. And then we do the same thing. We put a little border around Emma and we make it a little bit thicker because I want the birds to stand out. We're gonna get rid of that extra little bit that we don't want. There's one more thing we're gonna do and that is the words. So I'm gonna pop over to Fonto and I'm just going to create a plain image and I'm just gonna type room because I wanna do this kind of curvy effect. So I'm just gonna type one word at a time. I use this font called keep on trucking. She looks cute, she looks aesthetic. Fonto has this really cool thing where you can curve the words. So I really wanna make this fun and curvy. She looks cute, she looks aesthetic. Now I wanna make this pop on the thumbnail. So I'm going to go to style and then stroke and we're gonna up the alpha stroke and then we're gonna open that up into Clip Studio Paint, of course, and we're going to erase the background. So we're just gonna select the background, see you later, get in all those little bits and pieces. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead, select the text, copy, paste. Now I might put it there, I'm gonna rotate that a little bit. And now this is the fun part. So I select the crayon tool. I'm gonna select white. I'm gonna make the brush size about 12. It takes me many attempts to write perfectly because I'm just, I'm very picky on my handwriting and we're gonna size that up so people can see it from afar. We've got another thumbnail. That's kind of the middle range. It's not too complicated, but there is a much more complicated thumbnail that I like to create. This one, you're gonna have to sit down for. She's, I'm gonna need another sip of coffee for this one. It's a lot of work. Um, this is my newest style of thumbnail that I like to create at the moment. And it is a lot of work. I do need to be in the right mindset to create this kind of thumbnail because it does take a lot of creative willpower. Let's hope that I've got it in me to recreate this thumbnail. <laughs> we go into photo grid, we select our two photos, blah, 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 blah. Then we go back into Clip Studio Paint and this is where the fun begins. So of course I want to incorporate myself into the thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and open, I'm going to select myself, size myself down, copy and paste. Same deal as before. We're going to go ahead and erase the background. So give me two seconds. done that we're once again going to outline myself now I have missed quite a few things so I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and fix them up 
place myself there. Now I also want to include the birds in this thumbnail as well because once again they are included. So of course I want to show people that the birds are there. I'm going to use this photo of Charlie. Emma's a little bit blurry so sorry Em you're out of this thumbnail but you were in the last one so it's fine. We're going to go ahead and copy that one and paste. We're going to go ahead and erase the background. her behind me because obviously her tail is cut off from the photo so she's going behind me I'm going to put a little border on her now this is where the fun comes in this is where we're going to draw on the image so we're going to create a new layer I'm going to grab our trusty crayon pencil and we're going to write the words day in the life so we're going to go ahead and draw a big D and a big old A and a big old Y doesn't have to be perfect as we can see. All right, so we've got our day. We're gonna make that a little bit bigger. And then just in small little writing, because it doesn't really matter, we're gonna write in the, a big old L, a big old I. You get the point. I don't have to keep spelling out the letters for you. Now that our beautiful line art is done, we're gonna create another layer underneath that one. And we're just gonna color it in nice and beautifully, just like that. Oh, she's stunning. And we're gonna select the outline layer and just erase all of that beautiful color that we just did. And now we're gonna go ahead and select the colored layer. I hope this is making sense. We're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it. Now we're gonna change the color of that copy and pasted layer. So this is really hard to explain, so I'm just gonna do it. And we're gonna make it a darker green color. I'm gonna drag it behind the colored layer and we're gonna move it a little bit to the side. With that crayon layer, the, the line art, I'm gonna go ahead and do an outline around it like I have with the pictures. So it kind of pops just like that, but we are going to erase it on day. Select day by itself. I'm going to cut and paste it again. So it's on a different layer to the word life. Then I'm going to go ahead and outline the day and that way it gives it a little bit more character. It's a little bit more fun. Now this is a day in the life so I want some words describing my day and here we're just going to be writing new lashes because in the video I show you guys my new lashes which is very exciting. So I just write new lashes. I'm going to do a little arrow. We also went to a cactus farm so I'm going to go next to me here and just write cactus farm and another little arrow. And just to be that little bit more extra, I'm going to draw some little cacti because I think that'll be super cute. So we're going to do another layer. It just makes them stand out a little bit more and I'm gonna draw some little stars over here That's my thumbnail. You can even add more like I could probably add some little stars up here and yeah that is basically how i create my thumbnails well i hope you guys enjoyed the video today thank you so much for sticking around and seeing how i created my thumbnails i hope it was helpful i hope it made sense because if not i'm so sorry if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can let me know and to further support me in making this my dream career but without further ado i am gonna love you and leave you i'll see you guys in my next video on sunday so peace